All right, guys, so for the time being, we're back up here at Acadia, just about to head down the opposite side of the mountain. And last we left off, I think Cassie Dalton had just finished up telling us about that trapper territory down near the lighthouse. And believe it or not, she wasn't even the first person to mention that place to us. I believe it was Erickson the Super Mutant who mentioned it first. So we'll have to be on the lookout. And although we've only been told they're right around the lighthouse area, I'm going to take a wild guess and say they're probably all over these parts. And then I think the other group we need to watch out for around here are the Children of Adam. Although as of now, I don't think they're hostile towards us. So maybe there's a chance we won't actually have to look out for them. Although I do know Longfellow has a deep hatred for him. So I'm not sure if we're going to be able to hold him back from shooting them or not. Alright, judging by not only the gunshots, but also the hanging animal bodies. Oh, and human bodies. I'm gonna say we're in trapper territory. Sounds like there might be a lot of them here, too. Two down. Sounds like maybe a couple more to go, though. Probably inside this house. Yeah, is it just me, or did these guys have some kind of new armor on? Yeah, what is this hunter's pelt outfit? Anything good? Possibly. And I think I saw one of them wearing some kind of a hood. I'm assuming that's this. Kind of curious how that stuff actually looks. Might as well try it on really quick. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is pretty damn cool, isn't it? Kind of makes it look like we belong here a bit more, too. We might even want to see if we can find Longfellow some of this stuff. Or maybe not, because I gotta say, I really do love the outfit he has on. It's probably one of my favorite outfits in the whole game so far. Just because it reminds me so much of the uh, mercenary outfits from Fallout 3. But just in case we ever do want to suit him up in one of these, I thought I saw... Oh, this guy's got one. And then whoever we shot down into the water had one too. Oh, and he's got some kind of a legendary weapon? I mean, we might as well take it. We'll just sell it eventually. Okay, and he's got a hood. So for now, that should be all we need. Yeah, and it seems like that's pretty much everything here, so... We'll keep heading on down towards the lighthouse. 
I'm not actually sure how much farther away it is from here. Oh shit. Oh my gosh. Look at the fangs on that thing. It's like a vampire radstag. Yeah, that one's not hostile though. So that must mean the one we just killed was probably in the fog for too long. Because I'm pretty sure that's the only one I've ever seen that looked anything like that. And usually, aside from the glowing ones, they're never really hostile, are they? And you know, I'm not sure if it does have an effect on us, but I think that would be kind of cool if the fog sometimes gave us hallucinations and whatnot. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I'm sure it could get annoying eventually. But that would be kind of a cool little effect. Alright, looks like we arrived at some kind of a town here. Not sure if it's anything special or just a bunch of ruins. And what is that burning stuff in the water? Oh, is that oil? Yeah, it's gotta be, huh? I know the lighthouse might still be quite a ways away from here, but I don't see any reason why we shouldn't check it out. I'm just wondering if there's any chance we can actually get up on this thing. And if so, is it going to kill us? Yeah, I can already hear Longfellow screaming. Not sure that's really a good sign. There is stuff in here, though. So maybe we might find a bit more here. This is really disorienting, though. Having the boat be all sideways like this. Yeah, hopefully this is the way down. Okay, it is, but I'm not sure we actually want to go down that way. So, let me check the map really quick, because I'm wondering if this is actually the way we want to go. I mean, we could go from island to island. That might work out for us. So, what exactly is going to be our quickest way over there? Maybe wrapping back around this way? Because I think back when we were over at that town, there must have been some kind of a bridge. And it looks like even if we maybe just hop on that dock and then swim a little ways, that shouldn't be too bad. I am kind of curious, though, what else this town might have. Because I feel like it is a pretty decent size. So maybe it might be worth checking out. Alright, it's got a decent amount of supplies. At least in here. And 
Get some more pre-war money. That's nice. Pretty sure we have over a thousand dollars in terms of that stuff. One of these days, I gotta figure out how many caps they're actually worth. Because we might actually be able to make a good deal of money off those things. And really, the only thing we'd ever use them for is building and firing out of a junk jet, which, to be honest, we hardly ever do. Man, oh man. It's a cool town, but... Kind of seems like a ghost town, doesn't it? Really, aside from a good amount of supplies, this place is just barren. And surprisingly enough, we've only seen one enemy out here. Although I'm not sure that's actually a good sign. It just seems way too quiet, doesn't it? Oh, I guess there are a couple gunshots off in the distance. So maybe there are people around here. Mainly trappers. They're just still a little ways away. That being the case, that we may want to shut our light down. Just so that they don't see us coming in. Yeah, not much in there either. Oh, there are a couple in this town. Can I have a word? Yeah, Longfellow, I'm not really sure this is the best time. But what'd you need? What do you want to talk about? Look, I know I ain't the easiest man in Far Harbor to get along with. Social graces? Well, that's never. Yeah, I feared as much. Let's count the ammo and see what's left. Okay, and apparently. Oh, it must be that guy. There's someone or something else here. Hang on. Sounded like there might have been one shooting at us from over here. You ain't got a hope in hell. Oh yeah, there he is. These guys sure can take a hit though, can't they? Now you're realizing what a mistake you made. Oh, this is Southwest Harbor. So we gotta be getting at least a little bit closer to the lighthouse by now. What? Ain't you had enough yet? Your 
back. Right, right like it's time to stop for a drink, yeah? Uh, why not? Ain't doing them any good. Ain't that the truth? Okay, come on. Where's this last guy? Oh, is he down there somewhere? I can hear him, but I just can't see him. Apparently they can see us though, can't they? Or at least someone else around here. Judging by where I heard those voices, though, I'm guessing they must be somewhere down an alleyway off to the left-hand side here. Oh, shit. Well, then, what's next? Yeah, I gotta be honest. Didn't mean to wake you guys up. But I got to do what I got to do. Sounds like there might be a turret around there as well. So I guess we'll take care of that really quick and then hopefully we'll be able to listen to whatever Longfellow had to say to us. All right. That must be all of them. Hey. Yeah. I need to ask you something was hoping to talk for a minute. Yeah, me too. Okay, we can talk. Look, I know I ain't the easiest man in Far Harbor to get along with. Social graces? Well, that's never been my strong suit. Thing is, most folk in Far Harbor ain't worth a damn anyway. All of them cowering behind their wall, too scared to fight for their home. Can't like someone I can't even respect. And, uh, well, that brings me to you. So you respect me then, is that it? So you're saying you respect me? I ain't going soft on you now. Don't be thinking that. All I'm saying is it's good to meet someone who can take care of themselves for a change. Hell, I ain't been close to a lot of folks in my life. And there's even fewer I'd call a friend, but who knows. We stick together long enough, Captain. It might just be that you're my next one. I'm not exactly sure what you mean by that, but okay. Does this mean I have to give you a hug or something? <laughs> Hell no. All right, enough of this blubbering. You lead and I'll follow. Seems to be working out so far. Yeah, that it does. Also seems like there might actually be a couple more of those guys around here. Possibly down by the docks. Could have sworn I heard at least one. Maybe they just up and vanished, though. It's kind of strange. I don't know, maybe a fog crawler got him or something. But there is no sign of him. What is this? Some kind of restaurant, maybe? Or gift shop? Huh? Oh, there he is. You know, I usually don't like wearing hoods and... Well, any type of helmet, but this hood is just too cool to pass up. I'm glad it has that bandana on it, too. Sure is a nice little addition.
Okay, sounds like that should be everyone, at least for now. It's ours now, hey, eh, Captain? Guarantee more of them will be here before we know it, though. This is kind of a cool lookout, isn't it? Oh, is that... the Vim Factory? Yeah, it is. Because I've been seeing those signs all over Far Harbor. And I was starting to wonder what exactly they were. But based on what I've seen, including... some kind of Vim vending machine, I'm thinking it must be... The new Coca-Cola of this place. Kind of like how Sunset Sarsaparilla was the main drink of All Out New Vegas. So that's kind of cool. In fact, we might as well head on over there right now. And not to mention, it does seem like it might be on the way to the lighthouse. Yeah, and there's more of that flaming oil. Not sure what keeps setting it on fire, though. Yeah, and really quick, before we head on in there, for a nice swim, let's go ahead and take some more Rad X. Just to be safe. Where exactly is the main way in? Is that somewhere around there? I'm guessing it's gotta be. Because I don't think this big red door here is actually a possible way in. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. We could try this side, though. Might be worth a try. Oh, we are not the only ones here, though. That was close. Kind of surprised he didn't actually see us. And I sure do doubt he was the only one. So once again, we'll have to be on the lookout. Yeah, there's one. Where exactly did he go? That's kind of strange. Oh, there he is. Longfellow, watch out. I hate to say it, but I'm not sure either one of those guys made it out of that one. At least not with all his limbs. My oh my, you're still alive. It's a nice surprise. Yeah, I guess he got the worst of it, didn't he? Okay, nice. There's our way in. But before we go inside, was there anything else out here? What was that? That would be this guy. Nothing. 
Yeah, I gotta be honest. I was kinda more into the whole sneaky thing. But I'm pretty sure our days of sneaking might be up now. <laughs>